everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel, The Girl with the Rose Tattoos. My name's Becca and today I'm super excited because we are doing another installment of the game Versus. And this time we are going to be pitting Dis Walt Disney World and Magic Kingdom rides against each other. And I got all the names in here of the rides, not all of them. I'm missing like a few. No, I didn't put the carousel in there, teacups, barnstormer. Audi the car ride, what is it? I want to call it Audiotopia, but that's like in Disneyland. And then I didn't include Astro Orca, but the rest of them are in here. Does not include the shows, just the rides. So what we do is we take two different names out of this bag and we put them against each other and decide what one's better. And what whatever one goes is no longer in Disney World anymore, according to this game. So, let's shake this bad boy up and see the first two we get. So, the first one is Big Thunder Mountain. And then the second one is Haunted Mansion. That's easy, Haunted Mansion, hands down. Haunted Mansion is like my favorite ride of all time in Magic Kingdom. I like Big Thunder, but like, it's not my favorite. I don't know, just something about it is just, the ride's okay for me. But Haunted Mansion wins. Love, freaking love that ride. Love the aesthetic, love the smells. Just, I'm a huge Haunted Mansion fan. I actually have a pretty large, extensive Haunted Mansion collection. Love Haunted Mansion, for sure. So next up, that one was easy. I feel like some of these are really hard because I like a lot of the rides. In Magic Kingdom, um, the Voyage Under the Sea, the Little Mermaid Voyage Under the Sea versus the Buzz Lightyear ride. What is that one called? Like my mind is not working because I have not had any caffeine today. Um. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear mission spe you know, I'm not even gonna try. But, oh my gosh. I love both of these. One thing is that both are inside, so that means air conditioning. I love Little Mermaid. That kind of feels like a classic to me, like the, you can tell that the, um, the anim animation is older, but I love the songs, I love the, the scenes in that, in that ride, but Buzz Lightyear is gonna have to win because it is one of my favorite rides in Magic Kingdom. I just love that you get to shoot stuff and try to beat your like score from last time. And I love Buzz and Zerg and it's just such a fun ride. And especially, it's even more fun if you have someone in the car with you that you can compete against and try to win against them. So the Buzz Lightyear ride wins for me. And guys, you guys can play down in the comments below. Let me know what ones you would pick, if you would pick different from me. Because, and I love to hear like, kind of what your favorite rides are. So the first one is Dumbo the Flying Elephant ride versus the People Mover. So Dumbo the Flying Elephant reminds me of Magic Kingdom for some reason. Like when you think of Magic Kingdom, I think of Dumbo the Flying Elephant ride. I have like a picture of me when I was like, five years old riding that ride and I was having the time of my life. But the People Mover is so relaxing and you get to sit down, prop your feet up. You know, you kind of get a cool, you kind of get a breeze whenever you're riding on it and it's nice to relax on the People Mover after walking for like however gazillion miles you walked in Magic Kingdom that day. And you get like a nice view of the castle and um, get a nice view of the land and I just going to have to pick the people mover even though like Dumbo kind of represents Magic Kingdom for me but the people mover has to stay because I can't go to Magic Kingdom without that I missed it like it was closed forever and I really missed it so next up we have Splash Mountain versus Let's see if I can read my handwriting. Space Mountain. Oh, we're pitting two mountains against each other. This is kind of fun. Um, this one's easy for me. I don't like Splash Mountain. I don't like the animatronics and that. 
think they're kind of creepy. I just don't like the ride. It's just the theme of the ride I do not like. I do not like getting wet on rides, really. Um, just not a fan of getting wet and then having to dry off, even though you dry off quick. And I don't like getting my hair wet once I've done it and washed it, even though it doesn't take me long to do it, but just how I am. And I love Space Mountain. I just love that the ride is partially in the dark and I love that it has to do with space themed and it's like the first ride my dad and I hit and Space Mountain wins for me, hands down. So next we have Peter Pan's Flight versus Seven Doors Mine Train. Um, hmm, I, I'm i gonna have to go Peter Pan's Flight on this one. I just love the scenes in Peter Pan's Flight. I think it's so cool that you're like up in the air, like kind of flying over all these different areas. I like the animatronics in that ride. Don't think it's worth the like a jillion, a million minute wait that it always has, which I never understand. I feel like it is a little too short, but I do love it. Seven Doors, I've been on it a couple times. To me, it's just okay. I'm not a huge Snow White fan, and I think the ride is just okay. I do like the mining part where you're like rocking back and forth, and if you move, you can make your thing rock even more. I think that's kind of fun. But I like Peter Pan's flight just a little bit better. I think I've only been on Seven Doors maybe like a handful of times. It's just not my favorite ride in the whole entire world. So. Peter Pan wins for me. Both of those always have like the longest wait times in the world. The good thing they got pitted against each other. So next up we got the Winnie the Pooh ride. Freaking adorable. Against Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay, so Winnie the Pooh is adorable. Love the scenes in that. Love that you're sitting in a honey pot. But Pirates has to win for me. Pirates just, I feel like, is a classic attraction there, even though Winnie the Pooh is too. Uh, I think I can, I would prefer to go on Pirates versus Winnie the Pooh if I had a choice. I just love the smell of Pirates, love that water smell, love like the gunpowder smell, love all the smells that have to go on Pirates. Um, just love all the scenes in it. I love the movies and how they incorporated the Pirates of the Caribbean movies into the ride. And I think it's just a fun ride. Love the dog scene. Like I said in videos before, I want that Jim Shore, the dog scene so bad. And most of these rides that I love, I associate with my dad because it's my dad and I that always goes for the pass holders in my family. And um, these are like kind of my dad's favorite rides. When he was a kid, he tells me about how they like were when he was younger and how the park was when he was a kid. And I love hearing that about how the park was. And that was like one of the original rides. And it was so cool. I actually had a patient once where his dad worked on the Pirates of the Caribbean. He did the plumbing in Pirates of the Caribbean, which I thought it was so cool. And I loved it. I actually had another patient that was a security guard for Disney for like 20 years. And he was telling me all his stories and it was I just got so excited. I'm like, I love Disney and I'm a pass holder. And he just told me all about his times with Disney. It was so fun and so enjoyable. So next up, it looks like, I didn't put enough in here. I, did, I guess I did not count right. So we got, so we got Jungle Cruise versus nothing. Um, even though I counted before, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I'm tired today and Anyways, so since we have nothing to compare Jungle Cruise to, we are not going to... Small World. I had Small World, so it's going to be Jungle Cruise versus Small World. I put Small World in here. I don't know where the heck it went to, but Jungle Cruise versus Small World. Neither one of them I absolutely love. So, I think Jungle Cruise is cute. I think, depending on the skipper, sometimes it's more funny than others. Um, I really like Jingle Cruise. It's kind of even cuter with them all dressed up in Santa hats and everything. Small World, 
It's a classic for Disney. It's like one of Walt's first attractions that he made. And the dolls are a little bit creepy. I wish it was like the Disneyland one where they had like the characters from movies into the different areas, but they don't. Um, if I had to pick, I think I would pick Jungle Cruise over Small World for sure. Even though Small World is like a classic, I do like Jungle Cruise just a little bit better, even though it's not my favorite. So that is it for today, guys, for Versus. Let me know what you would have chosen, if you would have chosen different from me. Let me know some of your favorite rides down in the comments below. Definitely hit that like button if you like this series and hit that um, su subscribe button if you love Disney content. I'll be seeing everyone soon in the very next video. Bye!